I'm going to figure out if this graph represents a function. To be a function, every input needs to have exactly one output. On the graph, each point represents an ordered pair. The x values are the inputs, and the y values are the outputs. So I'm going to look at the points on this graph to see if each x value, or input, has exactly one y value, or output. Starting on the far left side, I see that this point has an x value of 0 and a y value of negative 1. Next, I see that the point here has an x value of 1 and a y value of 0. I also see the point here has an x value of 1 and a y value of negative 2. That means the input of 1 has an output of 0 and an output of negative 2. I remember that, in order to be a function, an input must have only one output. This means I don't need to check the rest of the points because I already have my answer. This graph does not represent a function. Let's try this problem together. We're going to figure out if this graph represents a function. We know that in order to be a function, every input can have just one output. On the graph, which values represent the inputs? The x values represent the inputs, and the y values represent the outputs. So we're going to look at the points on this graph to see if each x value has exactly one y value. Starting here, what are the coordinates of this point? This point has an x value, or input, of negative 4, and it has a y value, or output, of negative 3. What are the coordinates of this point? This point can be written as negative 2, negative 1. And the next point is negative 1, 2. For these first three points, which of the following statements is true? These three points all have different x and y values, so none of the inputs or outputs repeat. So far, this is a function, but let's keep going. What do we know about the next two points? This point's coordinates are 1, negative 1, and this point, 3, negative 1. The inputs 1 and 3 share an output of negative 1, but that's okay. To be a function, each input can only have one output, but each output can have more than one input. And this last point is at 5, 3. So does this graph represent a function? Each input has exactly one output. So yes, this graph does represent a function. Together, let's figure out if this graph represents a function. What are the coordinates of this point? This point is at negative 2, negative 4. What are the coordinates of this point? This point is at negative 1, negative 3. And this point is at 0, negative 2. So far, what can we say about the first three points on the graph? Each of these points has a different input and a different output. So far, this is a function, but let's keep checking the other three points. For the next three points, what can we say about the inputs and outputs? These three points also have different inputs and outputs. So, does this graph represent a function? Since each input has exactly one output, this graph does represent a function. Use what you've learned to figure out if this graph represents a function. You can write the first point here as 2, 4, and the second point as 4, 6. The next point is 6, 4. It's okay that the inputs 2 and 6 share an output of 4. Still a function so far. The last point is at 4, 2. This is the same input as the second point we identified. So the input of 4 has an output of 6 and 2. Since this graph includes an input that has more than one output, it does not represent a function. On your own, figure out if this graph represents a function. First, you can label all the points, like this. There are points that have the same output. That's okay, though. The inputs of negative 3 and negative 1 can share an output of 2 and the inputs of negative 4 and 0 can share an output of 5. Each input has only one output, so this graph does represent a function. That's all for now. Thanks for building your math muscles with us.